Hey, it's Jim coming to you uh, today from my backyard. Uh, I wanted to give you an update, this week's update from Central. Uh, wanted to remind you of a, a couple of things that are going to be coming up. Uh, one is this Sunday, remind you that we're going to have uh, bingo in the backyard at the church at 7 o'clock, and it's a great opportunity for us to get together, to, uh, to have some fun together, to win some prizes, to enjoy fellowship, and just get to see people we haven't been able to, to see. Just bring your own chair, and uh, we've got all of the equipment that you'll need, the game pieces and all of that. Uh, bring your family, it's a good family event and your kids will enjoy it as well. So remember bingo in the backyard at the church this coming Sunday, um, beginning at seven o'clock. So it'll be just a little bit cooler by then. I wanna remind you also that we are moving communion to uh, the first Sunday of the month. So instead of piggybacking it with, with um, our bingo, we're going to have it stand alone on the first Sunday of the month. So the first Sunday of September, at uh, seven o'clock be sure to to come for communion outdoors uh, on the green space between the two uh, parking lots the upper and lower lots we also have uh, uh, an opportunity for those who are uh, a little apprehensive about bringing your lawn chairs and sitting six feet apart like we do for social distancing uh, give you an opportunity to to share communion you can stay in your car and we'll have spaces lined out for you. If you wanna receive communion, but be in the safety of your car, then we can do that. We'll bring you the communion elements and, and uh, we'll all get to share communion together. So that is the first Sunday of the month, uh, beginning at seven o'clock, beginning uh, first Sunday in September. I wanna also give you an update that uh, really congratulate you on some uh, incredible work, some ministry and mission that you're doing. Uh, I, we are we have uh, raised enough money to sponsor every child at bonnie grimes elementary school uh, with our uh, sub, uh, sponsor a child effort so every child at bonnie grimes is going to have the school supplies that they need the water bottle and the face mask that they need to begin school so that is a huge huge uh, thing that you have done uh, we, we haven't been able to do our back to school drive like we normally have, but you have stepped up and the kids are going to be taken care of. I know that we're, uh, today we're delivering the uh, supplies to Bonnie Grimes. We'll have pictures that we can share about that, but just want to thank you on, on behalf of uh, all the kids and the faculty and administration at Bonnie Grimes and uh, from our Savior Jesus Christ as well. Just thank you. Well done, good and faithful servants in, in meeting this, this need for uh, the students at Bonnie Grimes. You stepped up, even though it's a, a different way of doing it, you really stepped up this year and I'm, I'm so happy, so proud of our church and so grateful for the ministry that you have. Another thing that you have uh, continued to faithfully do is support the unsponsored um, church planting pastors in Northern India. So we, uh, this week we have sent uh, the next installment of helping to buy grocery kits for the 35 unsponsored uh, church planting pastors in India and so uh, once again they're going to be able to have the necessary food to feed their families so that they can continue to carry on ministry even though it's very difficult there to do because of COVID and uh, the worldwide pandemic and all that that is doing in northern India to make life so difficult but thanks to your continued giving uh, we're able to send another month's worth of uh, food kits uh, for them and so again Thank you so much uh, on behalf of our Lord and Savior for, for doing that, for being there for them uh, in their greatest time of need. So, uh, a lot of, as you can tell, we're still being the church. A lot is going on, and we are, we are gearing up uh, again for when we can uh, gather for in-person worship. We may have some things to share about that in the near future, uh, about the possibility of beginning to start that. So plans are still being made our staff still working really hard on all of that and we'll get that information to you as soon as we can uh, on a personal note um, uh, I've had my first round of chemo this week and um, I'm handling it uh, pretty well I guess uh, nausea is my biggest problem so uh, taking medications to try to to uh, overcome that uh, I'll get to have this uh, pump removed the, uh, the nastiest chemo is administered uh, by pump over 46 hours, and so I've been carrying it around with me, and I'll get to get it off today, and I'll be glad when that happens. 
Um, but I just want to thank you again for all of your your prayers and your support, and I really appreciate it. We can, our whole family can really feel the prayer support from all of you. And um, thank you for walking with us in this journey. Uh, God's been good, uh, and this is uh, this is week one of the next six, seven months uh, of my life in in taking this journey to beat this uh, pancreas cancer. So um, I'm glad that we're walking with it with you and you're walking with us. Again, thank you for being the church. Thank you for not allowing uh, COVID to slow us down. And even though we're not able to do things like we normally have, we're still being the church. We're still touching people's lives. Uh, we're still helping with the Grace Food Pantry. If you have, uh, when you go to the store, if, if you can buy uh, non-perishable food items, especially kid-friendly food items for the Grace Food Pantry and help us continue to help those who have food insecurity in our community, uh, it'll be greatly appreciated. We're being the church, and uh, uh, we will we will continue to be the church, uh, spread out as we always have been, all around Northwest Arkansas, and reaching around the world. So we'll see you Sunday as we worship and we start a new sermon series uh, called Connected, and uh, hope you'll be a part of that as well. If, again, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to let us know. If there's any way we can come alongside you to help you during this time. God bless you, and we love you.